What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because, guys, we have a little bit of a, a guest here with us, which is Klaus Gaming. What up, dude? What's up, bro? Thanks for having me here on the channel. Very excited because, guys, we're playing a little Dungeons, okay? My man Klaus, if you don't know who he is, check his channel out. We got links in the description, all right? He plays a lot of Clash of Clans, but he's going to be picking up Rush. Uh, if he hasn't already and uh, he's only been playing for about a week now so we're gonna try and beat floor seven with me supporting and him with his under 1000 crit you heard me correctly 1000 crit uh and we're, and we're gonna see how we can do because i honestly have no idea if this is gonna work whatsoever dude if we actually win like you're gonna have the best clickbaity video ever like this is gonna be great <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying even if we even if we do like decently well i'll i'll feel happy because a thousand crit i mean you know nothing wrong with a nice. thousand crit. you just started right <laughs> but uh you know it's been a long time since i had a thousand crit and i think a lot of people can relate to trying to beat dungeons uh, and being relatively new to the game and having a lot of trouble. So we're going to see if it's possible. And the deck that we threw together is one that I kind of just uh, just got off the top of my head. I figured Crystal Mancers, which he currently has zero on his board. What are you doing over there? Let's let's get some Crystal Mancers. <laughs> RNG, bro. RNG. It's terrible. Uh, so Crystal Mancer is going to be hopefully our main damage dealer. Uh, we've got reaper who's hopefully going to be doing all the instant kills take out all the random um you know monsters all throughout frost and bombardier stunning and slowing everything to give us a little bit more time hopefully to take out all these monsters and then we've also got chemist which i think chemist is just a really good unit to throw in any deck because all it does is really just increases your damage that's what it's in there for it increases the damage from all of your units so it, it, is it actually uh, increasing the damage or is it reducing their defense? <laughs> oh, both, <You're>, right? <laughs> uh, it, it is. Technically, it's decreasing the shield on the monster, but you're absolutely right. It is decreasing. I don't even know what you said, but whatever you said was It's right. effectively it's, the same, right? Yeah, it, essentially. Exactly. I mean, the end of the okay, day... Right it's making you do more damage or making it so they have less damage that needs to be done. I don't know. It could be one of the, one of the two. That's but awesome. Gonna... So I have a question. Yes. I have a question. Um, what should I be upgrading in the mana side of things here? Uh, Obviously crystal, crystal Mancer. Honestly, all of them, but crystal Reaper is really good. Uh, like I said before, we only need, you know, uh, one frost, one bombardier, one chemist we just need it to be a decent level so I, I would combine out those two rank two frosts you got a chemist Ooh. you can combine those those bombardiers out nice this is good this is what i wanted you just tell me what to do <laughs> exactly that's so i'm gonna start spamming you a little bit here and um yeah as you get multiple of those units that i was talking about you can just continually combine out and, and kind of keep going from there I'm getting some lag here, so I, I feel like I'm I'm not seeing things that are there. So uh, if, if if I do something really weird, it's because <laughs> I'm having some oh, lag. Here we go. Always the ex no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, I'm serious, man. <laughs> dude, you're, no, you're doing good. You're doing really good right now. You've got uh, one high-ranking chemist. you got a couple of bombardiers, which is fine. I'm just going to continually spam shamans at you. Right now, all, the reason our units are like skyrocketing, skyrocketing in tier is because that's part of the buff that we have right now. Kind of like what we were talking about before. But also, mm -hmm. if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also check out those memberships because we got a lot of cool perks that I know you guys will enjoy, including the ongoing raffle for you to get your very own Mallard mug. I got to put it in front of me because the green screen will steal it. But all you got to be is a <laughs> rare member for you to have that Lucky Mallard mug. But let's continue here. And uh, and I like our board. I really do. It's got some really interesting things. I, this is my first time using Reapers, actually. Yeah, um, oh, combine I've... out those Bombardiers. Nice. Ah, uh, is that good? 
I, I didn't uh, think that was good. We only want one chemist, right? Yeah, so if you can ever combine out those chemists, I would. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, but it's not the end what of the world. What about the level one... What, what about the level one crystal mancer? Since you're like throwing shamans at me, should I leave them alone? Yeah, I would. Okay, cool. We're already at wave 10 right now. It's not terrible. And that's where we said we wouldn't make it, right? Oh, you were yeah, joking. Yeah, that's see, right. see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to just keep on combining out uh, clocks here to try and help you out. I mean, things could be worse. You sure? Should I merge out those level three reapers? Mm. Let's wait for um, the buff that we have right now to go away because I don't want it to turn into like a rank five bombardier and then we're stuck. And this oh, is okay. kind of this is kind of how you how I like to look at it. Like right now, if you combined out those rank three reapers. What are we hoping for to combine out some more? Like we have too many chemists right now. So if it turns into another mm -hmm. chemist, you can you can combine that out. That would be really good. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm gonna try and just keep shamaning you, and then maybe you'll get a different opportunity to combine out. So if I can get well, like I figured. That, that rank one chemist, uh, that would be really good for us. I just figured we would like we could merge stuff and try to get more crystal mancers because you said the more the better, right? Correct. Yeah, exactly. so unless we want to keep the Reapers because they're Reapers and they're awesome. Yeah, I think they're all right. And uh, Tribunal's going to rank us down anyway. So right there, you can combine those out. Boom. Um, which is Didn't okay. Didn't really help. Because like, again, Tribunal's going to rank us down. So hopefully Tribunal will actually help us out, right? You said you hated Tribunal, which I agree. It's super annoying. But sometimes it ranks you down when you have too many of the same unit. And then you can actually combine out some more. So it can actually aid you in that in that regard. Let's do that just to help out. Gotcha. I don't want to. Oh my gosh. When when the roles were reversed on my channel, I felt way more comfortable. <laughs> right. <laughs> which, which is right a perfect segue because we actually did a collab where uh, he supported me on his channel. So like I said, link is in the description. Go and check out his channel. If you haven't ever seen it before, I'd be really surprised because he's got just a ton of subscribers. You know, he's, he's going crazy over there. Um, but yeah, we did a video over there as well with, like I said, him supporting me and, uh, yeah, it was a little bit more comfortable, a little bit, I was a little bit more it, sure, sure footed, uh, I could say. Yes. Yes, it was. And, and, <laughs> yes. and knowing, knowing that you were doing all the heavy lifting made me feel better. <laughs> like I'm like, yeah, I'm just helping. If he fails, it's on him. Right. That's it's, it makes it easier. But right now I feel like the weight of the world and I don't want to let you down, man. I don't want to let your audience down. did fail in that last one. I mean. Maybe your subscribers won't know, but you go on over to that video, guys, and you see the worst play in the world that I made in the first, like, five waves. It's, it's, a, it's a thing of beauty. I'm sure people will love watching that because I, I, it happened to me live and I didn't know it. So, like, it's a real it's a real test of game IQ if you guys can, like, you notice versus whether you do or not. Genuinely, it made me embarrassed. It may be one of the worst plays I've ever made in... Uh, in my rush royale life all right wow Two waves still tribunal we doing okay man i i guess i mean you're taking things out pretty good that max reaper is fantastic the fact that we have that we got five crystal mancers yeah i, I don't like how they're pretty low level but hopefully tribunal is nice to us and can take away that rank one frost take away that rank one bombardier you know, rank mm -hmm. down one of those chemists so you can combine two of those out. All of those yeah. things, any of those things would be really fantastic. So, sure, sure. And Reaper hits anything, right? It doesn't aim for the front, so that's why it hits um, anything. It's... But it doesn't, uh, it doesn't trigger instant kills on anything other than regular monsters. So not mini bosses and not regular bosses. So it doesn't do anything there. Gotcha. Okay. So. It's good to have at least a few of those things just kind of weakening the back while the front's Definitely. being pummeled by the Crystal Mancer. Because Crystal Mancer is only a single target unit. Um, right. So it's good to have. So how'd we do? Yeah, dude. Exactly. There we go. Okay. So I do the rank ones. Yeah, beautiful. And two okay. chemists. 
uh, isn't real bad. I mean, that that board actually looks pretty good. I think you can probably chill with that board. And look how much better that looks than what your board looked previously, you know? And for those five ways, they were kind of sketchy. But realistically, we were just hanging back and hoping for the best, and we kind of got the best. Nice. And I love how they're all in a row. This is totally noob talk oh, right here, but yeah, it's like they're all in a row. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to do Clock of Power right here because that mass of everything is really scaring me. But this is why we do so much slow right here, because we need mm -hmm. time for Crystal Mancer to actually take everything out. Right. Well, don't worry. I've got Trainer. I'll slow them down if I need to. <laughs> it does help. And trainer, I think it also increases your attack speed when you when you play it. Really? I believe so. I know it does eventually. I don't know if it does at rank one. Um, uh, mine's mine's rank eight. I'm 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 so pretty epic that way. Yeah. I'm gonna play it just for fun. Then I still have the lag. Can you? It's crazy. It's uh it's not affecting me a ton, so that's the good news. Oh, that's good. Okay. Nice. Those shamans. I love it. Yeah, we'll do that. That. Oh, baby. Nice. Boom. Yes. Look at that. Dude, that's pretty. That We've is got pretty. Tons of clocks of power just hanging out. We probably should have more, a few more chemists. Not that I can direct what I'm shooting at, but. Upgrading the chemists? Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Higher tier. Yeah, whatever. Now, didn't you say you only need one chemist? Uh, because well, their do. effect don't if, stack? If you have a high ranking chemist, you only need one, but minimal, probably a tier three would do the trick. It's just that it increases their attack speed and you want them to be able to hit every monster. So if it's like a max chemist, right. it's going to be hitting everything you need. But if you have. If you have a rank four and then another rank four, it don't it already hit that unit, so it's not gonna stack in that way. I'm gonna do a little bit of oh that. Oh my gosh. Every time the waves come, I'm like, no. <laughs> I know, it's scary. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and use my clocks of power a little bit more um, actively here. Freaking me out a little bit. Yeah. Just I being honest. That. Well, look at that. We're doing good. Look at that. Yeah, uh, and you keep throwing oh these. Goodness. Going to 40? No way. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's guess. What which wave do you think we're gonna we're gonna bite it? 40. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Okay. Full, All right then. Full faith. I feel like I'm getting mixed messages here, but okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm scared, but I have faith. That's good. That's, a, that's a good place to be. You know? You can. Yeah. I say that all the time on my channel. I'm scared. I'm, you know, I'm just scared. But we're gonna, we're gonna do what we can. I mean, to be honest with you, this is going a lot better than I expected. This, I mean, your board looks as good as I could pretty much ask for. Like, you might be able to take out this puppeteer before it moves anybody. Come on, take it out. Come on, take it out. Come on. There you go. Yes. See? I mean, actually, it doesn't matter at all if you get moved around. There's literally zero effect to you, but it's fine. I just, I just don't want stuff moved. I get used to it being in a certain spot, you know, and it, <laughs> it throws me off every time. I hate it. But if it moved it one spot to the right, uh, then you would have had like the Crystal Mancer at the top middle with that line through the middle. Could have been pretty. Oh yeah, that would have been cool. But you got it's the, all good. You got the opposite chemists, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Just wish that uh, that one level level one uh, crystal mancer was upgraded at least like five more times. Uh, yep, I'll try my best. There it is. Boom. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, oh. Okay. That's I'm good. I'm just trying to hang and out with uh, with a bunch of clocks, and I don't want to combine out too quickly. I don't have a ton of mana. Sure, sure. So I know that Trickster steals mana from your opponent, but whenever you're in co-op, Trickster doesn't do that, right? Trickster gives us extra mana. mana gives us extra mana exactly so uh nice. one of the best combinations when you actually get trickster is uh with demonologist because you'll you'll put it down a demonologist you'll get the mana from from demonologist and trickster will make it even more mana that you get so you're like doubling down it's quite pretty nice that is pretty well, by the way guys i'm, I'm speaking to uh, garrett's audience here i literally had a an hour-long conversation with garrett earlier 
And then he was like, oh yeah, you should try this card and this card instead of these two that you're using. And the next thing I know, I'm like 300 trophies higher. It's like, it was crazy. So the dude knows what he's talking about. I'm a fan. Uh, I mean, what am I at, 5,300 right now or something? Yeah, I mean, it's a, I'm, I'm happy to help. Uh, I'm glad that that's the case. He, he went up in 300 by 300 trophies today. I went down for about 200 trophies today. So, you know, how things go, I guess, you know, help somebody else Thank you for take the... a hit. You know, it's yeah, okay. You, you basically gave me your trophies. <laughs> we'll, we'll gain them back. You know, that's what it was. He was actually just playing against me on the ladder 10 times in a row, and I was just forfeiting. Um, yeah, so. you were running support. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. I had no damage dealer and still almost won. It's true. It wouldn't surprise. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me one bit. Man. Run those decks sometimes. If you have a high enough level, between like how much mana you're getting from Trickster and you know shamaning the other player or whatever, you can beat somebody without any damage because they'll just like take everybody out. Super annoying. You hate to see it. I'm actually surprised how well this is working. We're at 27 right now. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was thinking we would probably make it to about 30 a minute ago. Okay. So okay. if we pass 30, I'm genuinely impressed. <laughs> uh, King Pudding is pretty easy to take out. Um, I don't even remember what the next boss is. I think Warlock and Bedlam are gonna be really tough to take out. But the one good thing about the deck that you're running <clears throat> is that you don't really need a certain amount of units on your board. So even if Bedlam switches you, you know, if you have a bunch of Crystal Mancers, they're still going to be doing a ton of damage. If you have, um, you know, some Bombardiers and Frost, they're still going to slow down the units. It's not like if it hits me and switches my Inquis deck and then I have no damage output because I got the wrong amount of Inquisitors. So potentially we could we could take out, we could take out 40. I don't know. There's, there's a chance. <laughs> I mean, this sound I can't, I... I... <laughs> I can't, I can't say it with a whole lot like a straight face. Like, yeah, we're gonna take forty, but again, we're at twenty nine. It looks good, so yeah. I mean, you know, the uh, I, I'm 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 just <laughs> I can't You're wait to see not, what happens. That's where I'm from. We, neither of us sound very confident. We we go through the whole uh, sentence of saying that we can do it, and then our voices just go higher and higher with the lack of confidence. Yes. Oh my gosh, that psychology is so true. It looks like this is gonna go pretty smoothly, so we probably have at least a couple more, right? A couple more waves, because it gets easier for a couple waves after the bosses. Yeah, it's um, still going. It's uh, almost over. I got I got my finger on clock of power because I just want to make sure that we take it out. But every wave I look and I'm like, I could use clock of power, and then we're still taking things out. So. Mm -hmm. okay. But yeah, but that's what's so nice about these waves is the Reaper will, will take out most of the stuff on its own. Um, but Crystal Mancer, I don't, I don't know if you've played Crystal Mancer nearly at all, but it's kind of the equivalent of like Inferno, Inferno Tower. Um, which, oh, is it really? Right, so it builds up. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I just thought it was a straight up uh, power output. So you're talking this thing ramps up over time exactly. on the same target. So the longer it's targeting that boss, that's why it's good against bosses. And that's why it's great to have extra slow on the board is because it gives you that extra time to, to ramp up, vamp up, and uh, and take everything out. Jeez, man, I'm just going to do one clock of power here. Cause... Oh, wow. Yeah, that really helps. <laughs> Dang, man. Crazy. Mm -hmm. I can hear that disappointment in your voice, like, man, it's only wave 30. I got to use a clock. You just uh, use a clock of power, I suppose. Hey, I've got 12,000 mana. I mean, that's a lot. I'm not used to having mana at all. So this is pretty awesome. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot you can do with it, to be honest. It's just, it's kind of there. Yeah. But that's why it's so important as a support unit, because I can just keep on spamming, keep on spamming, and uh, just continuously help you out. Uh, so I might make some moves. I've got 9,000 mana. Um, and, and we're actually getting extra mana, double mana from this booster. So that's nice. But you can probably already tell the difference between you using double slow right here on how long it takes to beat wave 40 rather than me just straight powering through all the monsters on my board. Oh, yeah. No, it's uh, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. This will be a long video if you keep the whole thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got it. That's we're we're, we're accustomed to uh, 18, 20 minute video. 
There you go. That's good. 15, 15 minutes. Man, well, I didn't think this was even possible, man. Like, we're at 32. Things are looking good. I am genuinely... And it, it takes a lot to, like, catch me off guard or surprise me, but this is, like, doing both. <laughs> I like awesome. it. I'm glad. Yeah. I mean, I had no idea either if this would work or not, but it's kind of just understanding how a deck works, putting a, you know, deck building works because I know Crystal Mancer is great against bosses. I know Reaper's great against waves. You need to have that extra mm -hmm. time. So Bombardier and Frost and then Chemist just helps everybody with extra damage. Uh, there's probably going to be people in the comments saying Chemist doesn't affect Crystal Mancer because it's doing critical damage. I have no idea if that's true. Um, but if I need extra damage, I usually just think, all right, let's throw Chemist in here. So the reason why we're sticking with such a blase deck is, is really just because I don't have anything else. Like, I don't have Cultists. I don't have Inquis. Right. I don't have anything like that. Like, I have six or seven Legendaries. You guys are seeing a few of them now. And we're just kind of working with what we've got. I'm, I'm hoping to get more, but... You know, it is, Which I it think is what is it is. very it similar time. to most people. I think that's the, you know, I think most people are in that situation. They want to beat dungeons. They don't have every single card that I show off on the channel. Uh, so I think this will be perfect for them as well. Yeah, as long as they have a whale sitting behind them going, here, here's a shaman. I mean, here's a here's a time wheel or whatever it's called. You could uh, you could support on this exact same deck, except I have Harlequin. That's the only difference, which is helpful, obviously. Oh, my gosh. Harlequin's like. As soon as I started watching your channel and getting to know the the other legendaries that didn't have that well, I, I've been lusting after Harley Quinn. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. Dude, I, cool I remember card. those days of being like, man, every single deck has Harley Quinn in it. What the heck? Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, now we have it and it's fine. This could be interesting. This could be interesting. Come on, no, baby. No. <laughs> uh, I'll do that. I didn't kill mine fast enough. Yep. Oh. Uh, uh, what can I do? Anything? I can't do anything either. I'm just sitting here watching. Because even if I kill yours, i got to kill mine. And right. I'm losing power as time goes here. No, I think this is going to be at 35. 35 is pretty good, though. Yeah, mm. it's over. There goes That's the last Crystal Mancer and all she wrote. So, yeah, we just didn't have enough time to actually take out your boss before it took out mine. You would have taken out yours, but mine got in the way, which which makes it a little bit tough. But looking at his, he did 154 million damage uh, with a extremely free to play account, guys. Check out those card levels. We made it to 35. There very well might be a way to make it to 40, maybe even make it past 40. Let us know in the comments what you think could make this deck a little bit better, whether it's in, in support, whether it's in uh, the damage dealer deck. But Klaus, thank you so much for, uh, for hanging out, doing this video. We couldn't make it to 40, uh, but, uh, but that was definitely a good time. It, it was all RNG, man. It was, it, it's, we, we tried again, we'll definitely get it done. Chalk it for up sure. to the Rush Royale gods. Uh, That's all you can do. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the channel, man. That was an absolute blast. And uh, looking forward to possibly trying this again. More collabs in the future. If you enjoyed it, definitely let us know. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.